Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning. Happy New Year to all of you out there. Yes, I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning off of two hours of sleep. Of course, I was celebrating as most of you were last night, and I'll get my nap later on today here after my work shift is over, maybe before I watch some football. Uh, now, just a programming note for those that are uh, KSB Local 4 viewers, we will not have a midday show today. Uh, I will be doing cut-ins for the Today Show here, as you see behind me, uh, through about 9 o'clock, and then the Tournament of Roses Parade will be happening later this morning, so that will take over program later today but I'll just tell you we all know it's cold out there this morning look at the lows so far this morning and this is as of just after seven o'clock so uh, there could still be some places that get a little bit colder yet but we have seen lows many places in the mid to upper teens below zero and even some 20s below this morning now as of right now I'm not aware of any records for the state of Nebraska the records are very cold on this uh, morning here in fact a uh, Grand Island and Lincoln the record lows are down in the 20s below zero so we're nowhere near that but car Carney did get within one degree of a record, and I say did get within and probably won't break it because it has warmed up a bit. Notice out west, temperatures in the single digits above and below zero. It's all due to clouds. Those clouds have snuck eastward into the Kearney area, and the temperature is actually warm, and so that is having an impact out there. Now, there are uh, still plenty of wind chill warnings and advisories out yet this morning for the area. You can see the wind chill warnings to the east and north where those wind chills have been down into the 30s and even at times into the 40s below zero. The da dangerously cold wind chills out there. And... Uh, now, for many of us, we'll see this go through the morning hours yet, but we'll still see wind chill advisories even overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning as the wind chills are still going to be bitterly cold for one more night ahead of us tonight here. So it's just cold out there. That's about the best way to put it. Otherwise, again, those clouds from about the Tri-Cities westward, if they can sneak eastward, we may see a mostly cloudy day in the Tri-Cities, especially towards Kearney. We're kind of going to be on the dividing line, but more clouds to the west, more sun to the east today. Then overnight tonight, we uh, see those clouds slowly push off towards the south and south. Southwest will clear up the skies, mostly clear by tomorrow morning. Another frigid night ahead of us. Many will drop down into the single digits below zero for overnight lows. And then tomorrow, we are looking at temperatures that will be warmer. Finally, some improvement out there under a mostly sunny sky. Temperatures will be climbing into the uh, teens and 20s. Coldest northeast, warmest to the southwest. It may even get close to 30 in the far southwest. So uh, we're looking at better weather. Not nice, but better weather for your Tuesday. How about your high temperatures today? It will be a struggle. More sunshine to the north, mostly sunny skies. Four to seven degrees. <laughs> That's about all we're going to do. It's better than yesterday, but still not nice by any means. More clouds to the west, but despite that, it'll be a little warmer out there thanks to a little more breeze. Uh, mid single digits to mid teens, again warmer towards the imperial area. Mostly single digits in the south, partly to mostly cloudy skies to the east. More sunshine, but just as cold about four to seven degrees for high light and variable winds out towards the east. Next seven days here, again, we are going to be looking at a frigid day today, a bitterly cold start to the year with some moderating temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday. Not nice, but better after another cold start Tuesday morning. We're also going to be lacking moisture the next couple of days. And in fact, that's going to continue through most of the rest of the week ahead of us here. We do see a little bump up in temperatures Thursday, but then fall back Friday as we get a glancing shot of colder air. Now this time, it looks like the brutally cold air is going to stay just off to our east here for the end of the week. And then we actually sneak in some slightly warmer air back to around our average highs on Saturday and Sunday in the 30s. Maybe a little bit above freezing. That'll be nice to see. There's one small chance of uh, snow there for Sunday. Doesn't look to mean much at this point here. But uh, again, the, so the, temp the temperature's bitterly cold to start off the new year. Some improvements down the road here later on this week. By no means warm, but we'll actually melt off some snow as we get back into the 20s and 30s and we should see mostly dry conditions until that just that small chance of snow comes in on Sunday so again I hope your New Year's off to a good start so far hope you enjoy your day stay inside watch some football hang out with the family do whatever you do traditionally on the New Year here and until tomorrow morning I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski I hope you all have a great and wonderful Monday and a happy 2018